Hi, I'm Dr. Angeline Goh, a kidney specialist at Mount Elizabeth Hospital. Today, I'm here to answer commonly asked questions about the kidney. Where are my kidneys located? Our kidneys are located more towards the back of the body, with one on each side of the spinal cord, and slightly just below the middle of the torso. Why are the kidneys important? Our kidneys remove excess toxins and water from the body. In short, they regulate salt and water balance in the body, and they also produce hormones necessary for healthy bones and for red blood cell production. What causes kidney failure? There are many medical conditions that can cause kidney failure, whether suddenly or over a period of time. Those that cause kidney failure suddenly give rise to what we call acute kidney failure and it can be because of certain drugs that they take, certain infections or even trauma. Then there are the medical conditions that cause a patient to end up with kidney failure eventually, like diabetes, high blood pressure, and if these medical conditions are not well controlled in the long run, there can be end organ damage and kidney failure is one of them. Now, is kidney failure curable? There are various options of renal replacement therapy which are available and it's mainly dialysis versus transplant. During dialysis, you can have the dialysis machine to remove excess toxins, remove water from the patient's body, but that only happens when the patient is on dialysis. Whereas in a kidney transplant, a healthy kidney is placed into the patient with kidney failure. And this healthy kidney then takes over all the functions that the patient's own kidneys is supposed to do. And therefore, the true treatment, the true cure for kidney failure would be a successful transplant. How do I know if my kidney is failing? Unfortunately, kidney disease comes with very few symptoms till a patient has late-stage chronic kidney disease. That's when they may get some symptoms of fluid overload, like breathlessness on taking a few steps, when they cannot lie flat on one pillow anymore, they need to be propped up on a few more pillows, or they get leg swelling at the end of the day. So these are the signs that tend to appear late. I would recommend that for patients who want to find out if they have kidney disease, especially if they have risk factors like diabetes and high blood pressure, they should go for regular health screening because we can then pick up signs like blood or protein in the urine and institute corrective measures early. Which kidney is more important, the left or the right? That's a very interesting question. When we assess a patient's kidney function, we normally take blood from the peripheral vein and that is a combined result of the function of both kidneys, not the left or the right. We need both kidneys or at least one good functioning kidney. So it is difficult to say exactly which one is more important. What I would say to potential living kidney donors is that we always tend to protect the living kidney donor, meaning that we would leave the better kidney anatomically for the donor. Can a kidney grow back? The technology is not quite there yet to grow back a kidney. But if a patient who, for example, has a kidney tumour and they remove part of the kidney, the remaining one kidney and the remaining part of that kidney that has not been removed can actually still work harder to compensate for that part of the kidney that was removed. So if I were to phrase that question differently, can I live healthily with one kidney? The answer is yes, because the remaining kidney would just work harder to compensate for its absent partner. How can I protect my kidneys? Well, to prevent acute kidney disease, we can avoid drugs, avoid taking um, non-prescription medications that could predispose to kidney disease. For patients who have medical conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure, we'll make sure that they are controlled well so that they don't end up with kidney damage. Otherwise healthy patients, regular screening to look for blood and protein in the urine is a good way of protecting the kidneys so that we can institute early corrective measures if we find any abnormalities. And we have come to the end of this Q&A session. Thank you.